Okay, I was a big fan of the stage display in ProPresenter 4. Then ProPresenter 5 came along and it made it even better. ProPresenter 6 has gone a step farther. So let's look at a couple of things. First off, if this is the only screen that you're seeing because you've only got your computer and the stage display and the main display are uh, where you can't see them directly, and you don't have a copy in front of you. This is fine right over here for the main display, but it doesn't help you with what's going on on the stage display. This fixes it. Toggle Output Stage Display Preview. You just put your mouse over there and it gives you that as an option. You click on it and here we go. We're on this. This is the stage display. Uh, with the current slide and the next slide. So, for still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great and armed with cruel hate. So that's nice. That's a nice little feature to have. But wouldn't it be great if you could actually see what's going on here on the stage display? And even more, wouldn't it be great if you could switch between different stage display configurations uh, based on what time during the church service it was? Like, you know, wouldn't it be great if you could just scroll down here to the message notes and get on a different version of the stage display? Wait, that seems to have changed. How'd that happen? Yeah there is a new queue that you can add. Add queue stage display layout. So I can automatically change the stage display layout by adding a stage display layout queue. Now one thing that isn't perfect about this and maybe they're going to change that is this has part of it but what it isn't actually showing is that you have another ability. Instead of just text, and so let's actually go back to a Mighty Fortress here, and I'm going to add a stage display queue. Add queue. I'm going to add the music one, and so when I do that, that changes my stage display. So we have up next and what's current. These are stage display layouts that I've created. But if we go to preferences and then display, we have configure stage display, which you might know about. So this is the one I was just showing you, and this is the pastor one. Give it just a second to load up here. Now so that is what the um, actually let me move that. This is what it looks like, but you'll notice that there's nothing right here. Um, but if we go back here, this is actually a background. Well, I have a couple of fun options now that I did not have before. So the for the current slide, I actually have that's set to be a live slide. So that's what's actually going out on the um, main display. So on the actual stage display, this right here is what I see right here, which is very cool. Um, on the, then I can, for this, I could do the same thing, or I could do what I have, which is a static slide. So it's just a still of what I should see. I could also do text only, and text only is very useful for getting much bigger text. So you can see that that's pretty cool. I've got a couple of other features that I can do, but those are most of the enhancements in uh, ProPresenter 6 and just something that I'm really excited about 
taking full advantage of. of. 